welcome back to plant on planning here we are in my social planner as you can see the week was pretty full but we have a new week coming up and i need to get ready for it because there is no time like the present my dear and to get ready for the present i have these super cute washi that i want to use this one now granted if you've seen any of my videos you know that i'm huge into fitness and working out eating right things like that but this i thought was so cute because this says my mascara doesn't run and neither do i my mascara does not run but I do run, but I just think it's still so cute. And of course it matches the stripes. So what we're gonna do, add this to the top, and then we're going to use this to frame out our days. But before we can get any of that started, we have to get a little white out going. Now, because the washi that we're going to use is um this black color i'm not going to worry about washing or whiting sorry that out so let's move that to the side and let's get our wash it on now what i am finding out is that i have a oh gosh a lot of lovely washi colors designs patterns solids all that wonderful stuff that i haven't used but I know good and well I've had for over a year. So I'm not sure necessarily what that says about me and my hoarding abilities. Or maybe I just haven't li been living up to my uh, creative potential. Yeah, let's not call myself a hoarder uh, when it comes to washi. I will not admit that to anyone else. But let's just say that I have the opportunity and the ability, because remember, I did buy them in the first place. I have the opportunity and the ability to be, oh, so much more creative than I actually have been. Ha ha. So let's put our creative juices to work. Uh, this being one of the ones I've never used before, but I know I've used this before. Even though it is very uh, much so not like me, I know I've used it before. Because it's pretty. <laughs> Basically, it is clear indication that I've used this washi before. It's pretty. Why do you like her? She's pretty. How do you know you use the washi? It's pretty. I mean, it truly is. So. I gotta be right, right? Bam. Now. Ooh. Super cute. Super cute. Yeah. Now we're just going to go right across and right above. Now, because I'm using my scissor, I am going just before the end of the page because I do not want to cut up my table. I've made that mistake a time or two before, so I am learning my lesson, adjusting as I go. No, no. Life isn't about mistakes, it's about learning. And I definitely am learning. So you gotta have a positive outlook on things. And I'm actually going to take this all the way across to the bottom. If I can get it lined up properly. All right, so, because that is annoying the mess out of me, to line it up in the corner. Even though I did it ever so successfully at the top, for whatever reason, I'm having trouble now. 
I'm not sure enough you did. Ah! Okay. There we go. And I'm actually just going to cut this one because it's the end. And like I said, I don't want to cut my tape. Bam. And I'll just cut the top as well. Bam. All right, so that is the start. And I think it's pretty darn cute, if you ask me. Granted, I may be a little on the bias side, but hey. Hey. What's the point if you can't give yourself a little pat on the back every now and then? Now, I have these um, dark colors going on, admittedly. I am granted anyone can see that. But my stickers that I'm going to be using are much lighter. So I do have the opportunity to brighten up the page. There we go. Like I said, I'm just going to cut it. Because I don't want to slice up the table. Bam. So we just roll that back up. Put it to the side. And get this one up here. Bam. All right, we don't need any more scissors. I don't need any more washi. And this is what we have to start with for the foundation. Oh, I forgot to cut this side. For the foundation of our masterpiece. Oops. Bam, there we go. So, as you can see, it's really cute. <laughs> so, for stickers, actually, um, I have quite a few stickers that I'm going to be using. So, I have this um, All Glam Planner. I bought this from Walmart. One of those, like, crazy finds when you're in Walmart and you're not supposed to be in Walmart. And then I have these that I want to get really creative with, um, creating stuff on the bottom and the sides. Because, like I said... This is kind of dark, but I'm using my stickers um, and the colors in my stickers to brighten things up. So to do that, let's start with these because I'm going to create uh, going across the bottom and going up the side with these various shapes. So it's just a cup. I mean, they're all the same. Like everything in here is the same page and it's like four or five pages of it okay maybe a little more maybe like eight so what i'm gonna take is i'm going to use these to create a little pattern on the bottom and then i'm going to use these funky triangular diamond shapes to create a pattern of the side so we've got triangles diamonds all right and it's just to bring a little more color into my page. Now, I decided to go from this end as opposed to this end because this is gonna be like the pivotal point um, to creating the, the diamonds and triangles going up the side. So I just wanted to make sure like I have enough space at the end of the day for everything. Yeah. 
And as you can see, it just adds a little more color to the page. I really did, but it's going to actually hang off. So I'm going to just add it like this down here. So I can do down here. Nope, that hangs off too. So what I'm going to do, there we go. Okay, got it now. Yeah. All right. Mm, that one doesn't really fit into the pattern. Darn it. All right, not to fret. Okay, so we're going to go up the side here. And I think I want to use one of these diamond shapes. Hmm. Oh gosh. Might have to go the other way. I'm working around the um holes. Hmm. Can do it like this. As you can see, this one is a little more complicated. There we go. Ooh, that's crooked. Ah. Okay, there we go. So. Just creating some patterns. These little stickers are always like the death of me, to be honest. Like I always feel like I need tweezers to deal with them. Thank you. Gracious.
see, it's just about. And granted, as you can see, there is no rhyme or reason to my madness. Just pure madness. So there we go. We have some geometricness going on on the side. And then there's a couple of cute little shapes here that I want to add. There we go. Bam. All right, so we have that going on. This side's gonna be, gonna be a little all business, to be honest. Because I conduct most of my hard work on the weekends or, you know, business work on the weekends. Look at that. Wow. I got priority here. And then just some wonderful inspo quotes that I'm just getting out of. If I could remember where they are. Is it just... There we have it. I have a little pop of color going on here. And then some great inspo going on on this side. Because this is where all the magic happens over here. So I wanted to keep it a little clear, to be honest. Now, I am Dizon. And of course, it'll be filled in by the end of the week with a whole bunch of writing. A whole bunch of reminders. Things to do. Things to get done. All that wonderful stuff. But I am Dizon for now. Um, I thank you ever so much for joining me in putting up with my craziness, dealing with these little pieces that drive me crazy. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop a comment below. If you feel more comfortable um, emailing me because you want to ask something a little more private or something that you don't want the world to know about, feel free to email me. It's plannedonplanning at gmail.com. Do not forget to follow me on social media. Hit the follow button, then go to the corner and hit the send message. Slide on in my DMs and let's get to chit-chatting. But in the meantime, in between time, later days. <laughs>